What's he gonna do? Step in time! Shout it louder! Step Step! 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 Down the chimney! Down the chimney, step in time! Down the chimney, step in time! Never need a reason, never need a run! Down the chimney, step in time! Back to nursery! Never need a reason, never need a run! Back to nursery, step in time! Special delivery from Mr. George Banks, Esquire. Special delivery, step in time. Never need a reason, never need a run. Special delivery, step in time. Good night, Governor. Good night. Good night, Governor, step in time. Good night, Governor, step in time. Never need a reason, never need a run. Good night, Governor, step in time. Good night. Cheerio. Good night. Cheerio, Governor. Cheerio. Not so fast, Michael. Up to your room. Jane, you too. Mary Poppins, would you be good enough to explain all of this? I would like to make one thing quite clear. Yes? I never explain anything. Well, it's happened. The chairman of the bank wants to see him at the close of business tonight. Tonight? Well, I'm going with you and jolly well give your chairman a piece of my mind. Uh, that would only make matters worse. We might as well face it. In just a few hours, I will have joined the ranks of the, the unemployed. Oh, George, are you quite sure? Quite sure. So I think we'd better make some plans. In fact, I'm afraid the time has come. Do you mean your mother's vase? Oh, but won't you miss it terribly? We always said we were saving her for a rainy day. Needs must, my dear. Well, tomorrow, well, tomorrow it looks set to pour. Oh, George, do be careful. Shall we? You'd better sit down. <laughs> Mrs. Brill, is that the dinner cooking? Oh, um, don't you start. I've opened all the windows. <laughs> I was only going to say, it smells delicious. Oh, the world's turned upside down. <laughs> well. Well, I never. So that's where I put them. <laughs> what are they? Well, they're stars. Gingerbread stars I hid once from my nanny. I always knew that I put them somewhere that, uh, that no one would find them. The trouble was that I couldn't find them either. They're very bright. Aren't they? Even after all this time. Here, let me give you a hand. I used to dream that when I grew up, I'd know everything there was to know about the stars. Funny, I haven't thought about that in years. It is good I'm not usually sentimental. It's just good to look back sometimes. Is it? I'm not so sure. A man has dreams of walking with giants of his niche in the edifice of time before the mortar of his zeal has the chance to congeal the cup is dashed from his lips the flame is snuffed to burning and he's brought to rack and ruin in his prime life's a rum go governor and that's the truth you know what I think it's Mary Poppins. 
from the moment she stepped into this house, things began to happen to me. My world was all well ordered, exemplary. Then came this person with chaos in her wake. And now my life ambitions go with one fell blow. It's quite a bitter pill to take. It's that Poppins woman. She's responsible for all of this. I know the very person. What's that she's always saying? A spoonful of sugar, that is all it takes. It changes bread and water into tea and cakes. A spoonful of sugar goes a long, long way. So have yourself an healthy helping every time. A healthy helping of trouble, if you ask me. Like you say, Governor, you've got to grind, grind, grind at that grindstone. Though childhood slips like sand through a sieve. And all too soon I've up and grown, and then I flow. And it's too late for you to give just a spoonful of sugar to help the medicine go down, the medicine go down, medicine go down. Well, good luck, Governor. Thank you. Thank you, Bert. And uh, good luck to you, too. Yes. We, what is we it? We came to say good night. Yes, of course. Uh, good night. Daddy, do you remember when we came to the bank? Yes. Well, we were each given a sixpence and told to spend them carefully. Well, that's uh, <clears throat> that's excellent advice. That's is, that's exactly what you should do. And uh, what did you buy with them? Nothing yet. We've kept them, and now we've decided to give them to you. I, uh, <clears throat> I suppose Mary Poppins put you up to this. No, she hasn't said a word about it. But we know things have been difficult for you lately, and we haven't really been of much help. We thought a bit of extra cash would loosen, loosen things up a little. It's a whole shilling! Yes, so it is. Uh, thank you. Th thank you. Jane, <clears throat> Jane, do you remember you once asked me who Neelius' father was? Yes. <laughs> it was Poseidon, king of the sea. Good night. Good night, Daddy. We do love you, you know. <laughs>